Hey adventurers, I am at Beaver Lake where today I am here to show you our weird roadside Wednesday located right in Arkansas outside of Rock. Long ago, before all of these houses were here and even before this lake was here, a man had a single vision to make this part of Arkansas one of the most renowned in the entire United States. And to do that, he had a vision to create something grand and huge and awesome and opulent. He created what is called Montanay. The structure stood as one of the largest, most amazing hotels and resorts in Arkansas. It had a huge golf course to be rivaled by none. One of the first indoor swimming pools and to show how over the top he was, he even had a custom gondola built to row across what was then a river to a train stop to then bring his guests back in grand style so they could arrive in luxury. But like most with a huge vision, he was a little eccentric and that ultimately led to the demise of his vision. At some point, he went broke. He couldn't get anyone to support him because it was the depression. And at that point, his dream fell shy. Now bulldozed partially and flooded to make the lake, Montanay stands as a resting place for a vision that was so large and so grand that it even had a pyramid to hold the secrets of what was going on at the time. much for the eyes right now but at one point in time there was an amphitheater that was right over here that amphitheater hosted the only presidential convention in the state of Arkansas now flooded and taken by the lake you can actually when the lake is down come out here and still see the steps that step down you can walk out you can even fish on them right now the lake is at an all-time high level vegetation is hugely overgrown and I would definitely suggest coming out here but during the winter or fall months so you can check out a little bit more of the structures. In this wooded area there are actually abandoned fireplaces still standing two and three stories high, several different pieces of the underground tunnel system that goes into one of the hotels and um, of course behind us is the big tower. It's definitely worth a weird roadside Wednesday.